Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Khalid Mahmood, your online trainer. In this video, we will draw this complex but exciting AutoCAD practice exercise 51, step by step. Even you are a beginner, don't worry. I will break it down into a simple step using AutoCAD basic command. By the end of the video, you will be able to draw this sketch confidently by yourself so you will also find a free project file in the description below for your practice purposes so open your autocad and let's get started step one create a drawing slot so we are going to start from these line and create this slot activate line command using l enter click on first point so need to activate polar tracking using f10 not need to activate ortho so first we need to activate polar tracking just put it f10 and random create a line now create a circle this circle radius will be 8 end of this line so activate c for circle command click on this end point and put a value as a radius 8 press enter just zoom in now activate line l for line command click on this point and activate a line angle 135 so just activate it here put it this one 45 90 135 and 80 so just this one okay and uh, Put a line value this one 30 and angle will be 135. 135 then press tab put a value as a 30 press enter. Now select this circle you can use co for copy command click on this point to this point. Now close this line using l enter hold control key choose as a tangent first point again same as choose control hold and choose as a tangent put it here you can apply same method otherwise you can choose mi for mirror command first point to end point choose as a no now need to trim tr double enter trim this one this one and this one this one and also this one select this line and this line go to properties color will be red and line type it will be center now go to properties and put it value here as a 0.4 now close this one now again need to activate line and need to extend this line as a 60 so just activate l for line command click on this point and extend this line as a 60 this one is a 135 and this one as a 60 press enter just zoom out ma for match to this one to this one now step 2 draw the main circle this one our main circle this bigger one and this smaller one okay smaller one circle radius will be 10 and bigger one circle radius will be 20 so just activate c for circle command click on this end point and put a value as a radius 10 as same as again click on same center point and put a value as a radius 20 create one more circle this radius will be 30 so need to activate using c for circle command Click on same center point and put a value as a radius 30. Press enter. Now use L for line command. Control right click. Choose as a tangent. First point and again control hold and choose as a tangent and put it here. Now need to trim this one. Now step 3. Create left side ox. So we need to create these ox. So, if you see here, this line need to create and also this line and angle will be 42. 
so just check out from coordinate method choose as a coordination for this one to this one so this angle will be 90 and also this one is a 90 so need to calculate 180 minus 42 value is 138 138 so choose as a line command using l enter click on this point and put a value of this angle will be 138 press enter now choose ma for match command from here to here now need to create a circle for this inner circle radius will be 40 so just from this center point okay so activate c for circle command click on this point and put a value as a radius 70 press enter now need to create one more line from the center point to this one ma for match from here to here now need to trim unwanted part of this diagram so use tr double enter trim this one and this one select this one e for erase now need to create this circle the inner circle radius will be 8 so create here c for circle click on this point and put a value as a radius 8 as same as here as a radius 8 now ma for match from this one to this one need to create these arc so you can use circle command but if you see here there is a no arc value as a radius as a dimension not available so we are going to create this one using arc command so go to arc choose as a start center end point okay so start point from here center point it will be this one and end point this one as same as the start point this one okay center point this one and end will be this one now need to trim using tr enter t for cutting edge select these two arc press enter and trim this circle ex double enter extend this arc and this arc now need to create this one this outer arc so you can use circle command radius will be 85 yeah, otherwise you can choose as a offset offset will be 15 minus 8 okay 15 will be outer circle radius and 8 will be inner circle radius so we have 7 offset value so need to activate offset command and choose a value as a 7 so o for offset and put a value as a 7 press enter select this circle click it in outside as same as this one also same as this one now step 4 connecting the aux very smoothly so need to connect these aux and these aux also these aux okay so let's find here is the value as a radius 30 and here is a 32 so you can use fillet command yeah otherwise you can use circle command so we are going to use both choose fillet a for fillet r for radius put a value as a radius 30 press enter select this circle to this circle okay now we complete this arc now we are going to create this arc so create a line first from this point to downside okay ma for match select these two this one select this line choose m for move and put it left side as a distance 10 press enter now create two circle first one is bigger circle radius will be 25 and a smaller circle radius will be 8 
so step four create down circle so using c for circle command click on this intersect point and put a radius as a value 8 now one more on same center point and put a value as a radius 25 press enter now need to create these arc and these are so use c for circle command ttr enter click on this point to this point and put a value as a radius 32 press enter now for this one we are going to choose as a fillet f for fillet r for radius and radius value will be 25 press enter select this circle to this line if you see very carefully when we go for fillet command so here something is deleted okay so what we can do again choose f for fillet r for radius 25 now add one more step using t enter t for trim choose as a no trim select this circle to this line now need to trim tr double enter trim this one to this one and also this one now step 5 final cleanup so now clean up the drawing extra lines verify all the dimension like radius 32 radius 25 radius something as available in the drawing you can also switch to as a layer center line add red line dash line like in the reference image okay now need to trim this one after add dimension your drawing will be look like that so step 7 save and export once everything looks good so don't forget to save your file using ctrl s choose a meaningful name as a exercise 51 just like okay so that's it you have just completed a challenging yet exciting autocad drawing if this helpful give it a like this video download the project file from the link in the description to practice it yourself make sure for more autocad exercise like this and if would you like to support my work and get exclusive perk consider clicking the join button on this channel so see you until next time keep practicing keep creating see you in the next video tata bye bye take care